Picture this. You get started on your workday. You power on your beast of an office machine, drink the perfect cup of coffee, respond to your emails on your slick sounding keyboard, and finally, it's time to download and open your very important spreadsheet. And to your dismay, it's been totally ruined. All those days of hard work dealing with VLOOKUPs gone to waste. But what if? What if there was a way to see the changes made to your workbook? A way that you could accept or reject changes one by one. There is. It's called track changes. Yep, you heard that right. The very same feature that is a necessity when you're proofreading or collaborating within Microsoft Word is also available for Microsoft Excel. Even I didn't know this thing existed in Excel up until a few days ago. So for the young professional, learning this skill is a really neat addition to your Excel toolkit. Let's find out how we can enable and use the track changes functionality in Excel. Track changes, as the name suggests, allows you to track any changes made to your workbook at the time that the track changes tool is turned on. The vanilla version of Excel, if you will, doesn't show the track changes tool, which you can see right out of the box in Microsoft Word in the review tab. Let's see how we can enable this tool in Excel too. Here we can see that when we hop into the review tab, it doesn't show up immediately. We can fix that by right clicking on the review tab and clicking on the customize the ribbon option. In the right pane of the Excel Options pane, we're gonna need to create a new group under the Review tab. We can expand the Review tab groups by clicking the plus sign. And we can see the different groups that are inside the Review tab. Make sure you've got the Review tab selected and hit New Group. Let's rename that to Track Changes. While we've got our newly created group selected, we can go to the left side pane, select all commands, and we're gonna go ahead and select and add the following commands. Compare and merge workbooks, protect sharing, share workbook, and track changes. When you're about to use the track changes tool, there's usually a prompt saying that it'll save the workbook. To use the track changes feature, we go back to the review tab, click track changes, and highlight changes. It opens up the highlight changes dialog box and to turn it on, all we have to do is tick this checkbox. You can also specify which changes are going to be highlighted. We can specify to highlight depending on when the edit was made, who made the edits, and where. You also get an option to highlight changes on screen, which is this border with a triangle on the left, like a comment, when you hover over it, it shows the changes made to that cell. You can also list your changes in a new sheet. This creates a new history sheet that lists down the changes made after the save was made. You can't edit nor delete the sheet, which is great because nobody could tamper with the changes made to your file. In order to remove the history sheet, go back to the highlight changes dialog box and untick the box. After edits and changes have been made, the next step is accepting or rejecting. Click on track changes, then accept or reject changes. A prompt will appear again saying that it'll save the workbook. After you click OK, it asks you which changes you'll be reviewing. The accept or reject changes dialog box opens up and walks you through all the changes made to your workbook. So you can double check before accepting or rejecting them. There you have it, how to enable and use the track changes tool in Excel. If you guys found this video useful, please do let us know by giving us a like and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. 
make sure you guys are subscribed to Simple Sheets for more Excel content and I'll see you guys on the next one.